Hello guys, Zuljan here. Welcome back to another episode of the Savage Lands. I hope you all are having an awesome day. And I want to say thanks for all the amazing support on the Savage Lands series. Guys, as always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. See where we are? Mm-hmm. We had the original camp. My original camp. I accidentally found it <laughs> again. I think I kind of have my bearings now after that last kind of fail episode. I would have actually not even shown that episode, but I figured that the fights were kind of entertaining and to try to give you an idea of what I go through to kind of navigate without a map and stuff. Plus, we found that portal and the runes and that might be important for later on. But, alas, we are here and it turns out that I really didn't have any decent supplies that I left behind. But the good news is, there was plenty of tin on the island and stuff. And uh, I, w I went around finding tin and we got some tin ingots. And we are good uh, to make some stuff. I actually found iron too and I can show y'all when I get back. It was around the same part that I had mined that ice. It was just a little bit further up the mountain. But anyway, I'll show you guys that. By the way, I'm just now starting to see the comments from the first few episodes. And... I hear that you can break stuff down to actually get materials. So I'm getting some wood planks here. Wow, uh, I think I might be able to get some nails and stuff too. It's ridiculous how loud this is though, good lord. <laughs> Seriously? So everything does more da- I might be able to do more damage with this thing. I- I can, yeah. Look at this, man. Look at this. So we got some bags of nails. That's cool. You can just get nails really quickly. Can we break these down? We can break whole houses down for materials too. Y'all, what a significant breakthrough in the way that this game works. This is amazing. Okay, we're not gonna spend too too much time on that. Now that we know how that works, I'm definitely going to play around with that mechanic, but it's time to get some serious stuff done. We have a lot of tin, we have a lot of iron, and it's time to do some stuff. So, the first thing we have to do is, I, I got some iron and I got plenty of coal so we can make steel, okay? Uh, the thing about steel ingots is that, well, we can make the steel ingots, but to, to, to get the steel armor, let's, I'll, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and go to that. And when you go down to, let's say, steel gauntlets, for instance, one of the crafting requirements is leather studded gauntlets. Now, this kind of sucks because you have to make leather stuff, but I did some hunting off cam and I got quite a bit of uh, animal skins. I mean, not a lot, but enough to probably get me by. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's create, Let's. we're at the tanner right here. Let's create some leather hides. And we'll make a few of these. Now that we just have leather, we can check the vicinity inventory and pull those in. All right, we have some leather, good. Now we can actually look at making the studded stuff. So, uh, we need, to make studded, we need rings and rivets of each kind. Let's see here. Um, we're going to need tin, where is it? I think it's, let's look at leather studded boots for instance. Leather studded boots need bag of tin rivets and bags of tin rings. And we got a few rings already, so let's go for the boots. The boots are one of the things that we don't have a real good pair of, so we're gonna try to go with steel boots first. I have everything that I need to make this. All I need is a crafting table. So let's go over to the crafting table. And we'll go to armor, scroll up, and leather studded boots. And let's go ahead and make the leather studded gauntlets as well. All right, so we have the gauntlets and the boots. Did that, um, did they both come into my inventory? I think so. Yeah, leather studded boots and leather studded gauntlets, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the other leather piece. And I'm going to smelt up 
stuff for the uh, the steel. So the first thing I'm gonna need is wait, we hit the wrong thing here. The first thing I'm gonna need is ingots. So we can do ten ingots. Um, to burn those out. We still have plenty of coal, so that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna dump the rest of the tin out here. Now we're gonna need. Uh, let's do iron ingots. I think that's how you make steel ingots, huh? Yes, 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 yes. Steel ingots, good. All right, let's craft as many as we can here. We don't have any more of that. That's fine. And steel ingots. Okay, it's gonna take some more coal. We're definitely gonna have to look at that, but I do think we may be able to craft something here. Not quite cloth. Cl We're gonna have to ha craft uh, cloth clothing, I believe, in order to um, in order to make the leather. I mean the the steel curious. Uh, let's see, frost fur and salve bandages. I didn't even realize this was a thing. I uh, I picked up from some frost ferns around here. Health 60 stops bleeding. That's actually pretty amazing. Uh, all right, let's get. Well, we're gonna have some frost ferns available, so well, we can only do a little bit there, but that's still pretty good. I didn't realize that was a thing. That's awesome. Okay, so I've got a few things going here. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let's see what we can make where the smith is. We're gonna need to make steel something here. I think we're gonna need, let's see, the steel. We, we made the gloves and the boots, right? So steel boots are gonna take bag of steel rivets and in order to make steel rivets, I think we're gonna need an ingot or two. What about steel gauntlets? Gauntlets are gonna take the same thing. So we need two bags of steel, four bags of steel rivets all together. To make bags of steel rivets, we're going to need, does it just make one? It only makes one. So we're gonna need four steel ingots to do that? Good Lord. All right, I need some coal in order to do this. Let's see if I left any coal around here. No, and let's check the house one time. Human skull, bark. No, I don't have any coal. Okay, so I did just reset the game. In other words, I had saved a second ago and I came back. Do you have any space to actually get coal? Yeah, I do. I do have a couple spots open. All right, so there's a couple places that I could get coal. First of all, one of the reasons I kept getting lost is this tower here. This Tower of Wormsguard. I never realized because in the early episodes was the only thing that I was looking. I was just cowering for the dragon. But there's actually two towers with dragons. The one around my other place, which is much, much higher on a mountain, and this place. So they're a little bit different. Uh, I do think there was a little bit of coal. No, it wasn't here. I want to say... There was a little bit of coal on one of these rock formations out here. I know this is flint. I want to say I got coal. I think there's more tin around there, but I may be wrong. Hold on. I'm getting a little confused. Like, the, the entire spawn area I stayed away from so long that I kind of forgot what was what. But I'm pretty sure there's some coal around the base of the mountain where the tower's at. So that's what I'm gonna check out. I know, coal's not that uncommon anymore. At first, when I first started playing the game, I kinda thought it was, but it's really not bad, and it's usually grouped up. So I'm pretty sure that I either got, I don't, I think I had coal here and not tin. I think that's what I'm thinking of. I'm pretty sure I got coal here. That is... I'm starting to be able to kind of look at it and tell. This looks like tin. No, that's actually flint. And the, the way that you could tell is you see the little portion of the rock that isn't... That doesn't look like that silvery gray rock. That's how you can tell, and it's it's kind of hard to tell sometimes, but I'm starting to learn. So you gotta bear with me here. <laughs> but it's kind of just discovering some of the game mechanics as I go, you know? So this is tin. This is how you can tell what tin is. It, it glows red, but you see that little part right there, how it's silver looking? 
Not that you can tell specifically if it's tin, but um, I think I'm gonna mine it anyway. Even though I don't need it, I'd like to get it. Yeah, the fact that I got it is pretty good because I I actually tried to um, to mine it a second time after I had mined it the first time originally, and I didn't get it. But after I um, restarted my game, in other words, I quit out of the game and I came back in, it seemed to be respawned. So I don't know if that was a a time thing or if that was actually a uh, a, a respawn mechanic. I'm not too sure. I know that I have some coal over there, and I want to say this is flint. Okay, I think I could get some coal there. Or is that tin again? Ah, I believe that's tin. Not that it's too bad. It's a little bit... Um, I don't want to freeze here. It's not really worth that for tin. Alright, I'll get it anyway, but I'm just going to get one. Alright, I don't want to freeze to death out here just by getting tin. I forget exactly where the coal is, but there's a few nodes of it around here on one of the mountains. It's just been a little while. So, those were the bridges that I originally crossed to get to, um, I guess, the, the next area. Um, and it's a pretty long journey. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. It's a really long journey. Hold on. Regular skeletons. Remember these guys with the back bends? The acrobatics that they did? We just one-shot them. They're incredibly easy now. Which I think is awesome. I think we earned that. I'm not even gonna, like, dodge. Okay, uh, this is... I want to say this is 10 too. I can get this. And again, this is around the tower, so... It's unfortunate <laughs> that all I'm mining is, is 10 right now, and I do need some iron. I'm only gonna get a couple more pieces. I just hate to throw it away because it's... it's it's, it's good. Like, you need it for rivets and stuff. And you can also use it for bronze. And honestly, I don't think we're going to have enough iron to make steel everything. Because those rivets are very expensive. And I think all we mined is like 20 iron or something like that. I know where it's at now, which is great. That guy just disappeared, man. He totally just disappeared. How weird is that? Okay. Let's go searching for that coal. Like I said, I would in the first place. I think I have to go a little bit further. This is where... You can kind of get up to the tower. You don't go really, really far up there. This is 10 as well. I'm not... I'm going to avoid um, just mining that because I could do that. It's great to know that it respawned, though. It is really great to know that it respawned. Uh, there's some coal right here I'm going to grab. I could use that. Where did it come from? Was that something that I left behind earlier? I think that might be coal right there. It's a little dark. It is a little dark. You get it pretty quick when you get it. Yes! We are at coal, baby. All right, that's perfect. That's going to allow us to make a few more steel ingots. By the way, I have not seen the dragon come off of that tower to attack. I've seen him come off a few times, but never really... I mean, it, it hasn't come close enough to me to threaten me. So, I'm not real sure what its motives are. Like, it's right there. It's literally right there. If he would come at me, I swear I would attack it. I know I would die. But I'm not, I'm not really scared at this point. Alright. Hey, you gonna come down here or what? Then shut up. <laughs> now I'm talking smack to it. Just because I think nothing bad's gonna happen. Alright. Beautiful. Okay, so we got coal. We got... I got enough coal right here. I'm, I'm kind of happy with the amount of coal I have. Let's go back around. Try to get to my forge. And we're going to make a steel something. Something. Maybe boots, maybe gauntlets, maybe both. Hopefully both, honestly. That would be ideal, y'all. That would be ideal. Also, 
I did try to go to the fire. Like, I tried to... Because it looks like you can mine that stone, I tried to get to it to see what would happen, and it burnt me. If y'all don't believe me, watch. Hear that? Yeah. <laughs> it's the silliest sound effect I ever heard. But it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty hardcore, man. It burns. So, I don't think we can do any 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 real resource harvesting there I don't know how you get to that lava stone I haven't seen anything that requires you to use uh, lava stone yet but I'm sure there are some recipes I did look a little bit through the recipes and see some things uh, that you need like dragon's blood and stuff like that and there's a few things that you need like the crystals that I get every once in a while from them little them little tree guys so it's getting pretty interesting here this there's fur boots I think that was a fur helmet of the first time we came here. There's some raw deer meat. I do think I'm full. I have so much deer meat already because I, I went hunting for it for a little while. Let's throw away the wood and let's grab the deer meat. It's not going to hurt to have it. In fact, it's, it's really nice to have it. We could just get logs. Logs are like common, man. Super common. We could just get them anytime we want. Not a big deal. All right, where is our uh, our place? Is that our place? I think it is. I think that's us right there. Yep. Yep. And because I'm this close to him, um, nope, this <laughs> is not gonna happen. Um, running those down is a little bit simpler than you would think. Once they get the drop, like once they know that you're chasing them and they start running away, when they build up speed, you can't catch them. But before they build up speed, there's a time period where they're really, really easy to catch. And naturally, it only takes one sword hit uh, to kill them. Okay, we've got some coal now. We've got iron. We should be able to make steel ingots. Let's do steel ingots. Let's craft as many as possible. Okay, that makes use of all the iron that we had, which is good. Let's, we got four steel ingots, y'all. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so now, oh, we have these too. Didn't we? I thought I had put those bandages in. I guess not. All right, I don't want to use the tin quite yet. I know I'm going to need it, but... Okay, so let's take a look at armor. Well, actually, we're going to need... We're going to need the steel rings, was it? Hold on, let's take a look again. I forget. I forget pretty easy. If we we need if we go for the steel not the steel shield steel gauntlets let's just say for instance uh, actually I'm gonna go for the steel boots first because I think we have decent gauntlets let me see just in case uh, we have gauntlets warmth yeah we at least the ten gauntlets are better than the um, the boots that we have as far as quality is concerned so that's better so let's just let's go for our boots here. That'll be the first thing. So we need one more bag of steel rivets. Um, steel rivets are gonna require... Where are they? Steel... Steel rivet? Why is it not showing? Oh, it's... Um, is it because I was... I'm not far enough next to the thing? Yes, here we are. So that's what it was. I was like, why is it not showing? Okay, we got steel rivets. That's good. Now we can make a steel... Oh, we can make a steel helmet too. We already got a decent helmet though. Not that it's better than this, but I really think we should concentrate on what we have. All right. So why is it not showing... I need a steel... We said steel boots, right? Steel boots. I have everything but leather strips. No problem. I need to make leather strips here. Uh, let me put down the copper. Leather strips. Why? Oh, I think 
I don't have any leather on me. Okay, leather hide. I can make leather strips with that. Leather strips. Wow, what a fiasco, huh? There's a lot of stuff in crafting in all of this, y'all. A lot. Okay, we should be able to do it now. Steel gauntlets. It's about time. So we could do that or the boots. Um, and it takes two. Yeah, this is... this. I think this is going to be the only thing that I can craft. We're going to do steel boots. That's what I need to do first. All right, let's do it. Wow, that was expensive. Good lord. Durability is 2640. Damage reduction is 14. In comparison, damage reduction 2? Warm 2. What's its encumbrance level? I did not see. Encumbrance is 4. Not that bad. Honestly, a significant upgrade. That's good. Okay. So to get to the Steel Curates is going to be nuts. I mean, unbelievable. Okay, the good thing is we still have the option to go bronze. The Steel Ingot, let's check something. I don't want to be, I don't want to be silly here, but let's just see. We can do, we already have a steel sword. What would it take to make a steel, a steel hammer to mine with? That's, that's that. Steel hammer. Uh, no, it would take two steel ingots, which I don't have enough of. Is there anything I could do with one steel ingot? I don't think so. I think the only thing I could do is like make rivets or whatever, which is kind of... Kinda sucks, unfortunately, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna dump this out. And I'm pretty happy with the steel boots that I got. Let's do some bronze. So, I already had that. Let's pick up the... Let's pick up the tin, I suppose. And didn't we have some copper that we left behind too? Where did I leave the copper at? I might have left it inside. Right here. No. I did not leave it here. I don't want to leave any of this there either. The coal is going to be the only thing that really stops me, I believe. Which which that would mean that we had to make some more coal. Let's see. Uh we can do more tin ingots, which I think we already have. Plenty of tin ingots, huh? Yeah, we have plenty of tin ingots. There's the copper ore. All right. Uh, so we can do... Copper is going to take... Copper is probably going to take uh, coal as well. And then... Yeah, it's going to take coal as well. So we could do two of those. And I think to make bronze, we're actually going to need more coal again so bronze ingots for instance let's just look at bronze ingot bronze ingots take coal as well wow the need for coal is real you guys well i did want to show y'all what was going on here i am going to farm a little bit of coal off camera uh we're going to at least get um a bronze hammer i think to help us mine, I think that would be the best deal. I don't think I'm going to be able to do steel because iron is too far away from me. And I'm going to try next episode to take out you-know-who. Remember that guy? Remember that big skeleton over there that did so much damage to us? I think with some of our newfound armor, we'll be able to beat him anyway. We're going to try that next episode, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.